go for a video description about the arterial venous and the lymphatic drainage of the palm of the hand. Before coming into detail about what the arterial supply, the venous supply, and the lymphatic drainage of the palm is composed of, the student should have a knowledge about what the palm is. Um, palm is basically the anterior side of the hand. So if this is my hand, so this anterior side, this is known as the palm, and the posterior side is known as the dorsum of the hand. Now we know what the palm is. Now we're going to know what the arterial supply is of this palm. It is basically supplied by two types of arteries known as the ulnar artery and the radial artery. The ulnar artery is present here on the lateral side. Medial side you have the radial artery. The ulnar artery and passes anterior to this flexor retinaculum, this black line, and then it enters into the palm, dividing into two branches, a deeper branch and a superficial branch. The uh, superficial part uh, of the ulnar artery, it will go and it forms an arch known as the superficial palmar arch that will extend across the palm and it will also give rise to branches known as the four digital artery, which will supply your fingers and that was about the ulnar artery now for the radial artery it is the same it is present on the medial side it divides into two branches a deep palmar arch branch and a superficial the deep palmar arch it will go and will unite with the medial part of the ulnar artery to complete this deep branch of the palmar arch and then it will go and supply the different regions of the palm then uh, the venous drainage, the venous drainage is also supplied from the superficial and uh, deep venous arches shown with the blue color which will move along with the arteries. Wherever the arteries are there are also going to be the superficial and the deep uh, venous arches which will drain the blood from it. Then there are also lymphatic drainage systems that have been present from the lateral side, this hypothenar aminus. The lymphatic drainage that are draining from this, they will follow the basalic vein and then enter into the supratrochlear nodes and then finally into the lateral group of axillary nodes where they're going to drain. And then the vessels that are coming, draining it from the thinar aminus from the thumb region, they're going to go and they are going to follow the cephalic vein and drain into your infraclavicular group of nodes. And yeah. One more thing about uh, that in the radial artery, that the radial artery, it gives rise to two branches. The radial artery that is uh, uh, supplying the medial side of the lateral side of this index finger, that branch of the radial artery is called as the arterial radialis indices. And the branches, the medial and lateral side of the thumb that is being supplied by the radial artery, that branch of the radial artery is called as the arterial principal policy. So that was all for your uh, arterial venous and lymphatic side of the palmar view of the hand. Hope it's understood, understood to you guys. Thank you.